Hi everyone, Sarah here. Have some Valentine's cards to share with you today for the Not Too Shabby Shop. Here's all the information. I will have all the links down below for you guys. Um, don't forget to log in when you're making your purchases to collect your reward points. For every $1 you spend, you get one point. For every 100 points, you get a $5 gift card. And any US orders over $60 ship for free. Okay. So, as I said, I made some Valentine's cards. Uh, the main focus that I was working with was these Valentine Border dies from Lawn Fawn. It just came out in the new release, and they are super adorable. Adorable. <laughs> so it comes with the three different borders. The first one is a little scallop with the little dots in it. And then this one just cuts the lines to make these arrows, which is so cute. And then this one cuts out hearts. So super, super awesome. Um, I For my images, I also pulled out some of my stamp sets purchased from the Not Too Shabby Shop. So the first one here is Stinking Cute from Lawn Fawn. Not used it yet, so this is a opportunity to use that one. And then also these two sets from the Greeting Farm. So this is Be a Unicorn and A Little Magic. So I used some of these unicorns and some of the... Um, the sentiment you make my heart flutter oh and then I also used from the new Lawn Fawn release where'd it go this love letters stamp set I used the sentiments with the happy Valentine's Day and some of these up here okay so I'm just put all my stamps over there and I will show you my cards. So the first one I made was with the little skunk from the Lawn Fawn Stinking Cute. I uh, so adorable. So basically what I was focusing on was these panels using the die cut um, edges from Lawn Fawn. So I have the scallop and then also the arrows. And then on the bottom I did the scallop and the arrows in the other direction. And then on this one I did do some distress ink on the bottom using sponge sugar and picked raspberry. Um, just blending it up um, and then from the love letters stamp set I used the little tiny hearts the speech bubble the I love you and the happy Valentine's Day so and then I also added in just some gold foil washi and popped him up on foam tape and then these panels are also popped up on foam tape over top of some patterned paper and then on the inside of this one I just made a nice simple uh, panel with the gold washi and a couple of the hearts so super cute love how it turned out I have some coloring for you on the skunk that I will attach to the video the next one is <coughs> excuse me using the greeting from a little magic from the the unicorn she turned out super sweet. I do have the process for this also for coloring. Now, same thing, I took my panel, I die cut my edges. Actually, yeah, I die cut my edges first. So this one has the scallop, the arrows, and the heart. And then on the bottom, the scallop and the arrows. These little hearts are from the pieces that I cut out. So I just color them in with the same Copic colors that I colored my image and glued them down. And I put some Wink of Stella on all of her hair, like her mane and her tail, and then the little hearts. Super adorable. And on the inside, I just used I Love You and a heart. Love it. This one's a little different. Um, I was trying different colors out. It still turned out pretty good, I think. Um, I do have the coloring also for this one. On the horn I just put some stickles these hearts are actually just um, die cuts from my stash they're from a different heart die that cuts out hearts and I just have them sitting in a little container here on my desk because they're gold foil so I figure I can use them and these ones I put the border dies at different positions added in some washi tape and popped it all up with Wink of Stella and then the inside of this one, I just have some washi and another gold heart. Super cute. This one I also love. This is using the Be a Unicorn with the min little mini unicorns. And I did them both opposite with the pink and the turquoise colors. And this is uh, my favorite things XO dye that I just decided I'd give a try using the same sort of process and then a scallop wavy dye. 
These are from the Love Letter, Sending Love. I just drew over with a glitter pen, added some gold washi. And then on the inside, I use this Hello Friend. I think you're all sorts of wonderful. This is a Mama Elephant set from my stash, just to add in some different sentiments. And then the last two cards I made using the Altered Hearts, <coughs> excuse me, that I had showed on yesterday's video. <coughs> Sorry guys, I have a cold and it's choking me up here. <laughs> So that is my um, decorated heart and I just popped it up on foam tape and I added the Happy Valentine's Day on the angle. And on the inside, this is another Mama Elephant sentiment, you plus me is forever baby. And then the last one, I did vertical, super cute. Again, one of my altered hearts. All I did was add in some washi tape in behind. And on the inside, again, another Mama Elephant sentiment. I love you so much. Yeah, so those are my cards. They turned out super adorable. So much fun. It felt really good to get all crafty again after the Christmas and New Year's. And just to get my space reorganized got me a little bit more mojo going. All right, so I will leave you guys with the process coloring videos for these three. I'm, I did not record this one. I just did it really quick. Um, so I didn't record it, but I have these three here, which I will attach. So leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so now on to the Copic coloring of my images. First is the skunk. I'm using W1 and the Colorless Blender for the white areas of the skunk. I did also use R20 for the cheeks and just blend it out. Um, again, just over top with the blender just to lighten it as much as I could. For the black part of the skunk, I am using T4 as my lightest color, going in with T5 for my medium and T8 for the dark and then blending them back out from medium down to light again. I didn't have to worry about um, keeping within the lines on these because I was cutting them out um, just with scissors, fussy cutting them out. So. Oh, and then after I was finished that part, I did color in those little parts of the ears with the R20, just to give it a little pink color. And that's it for the skunk. For this um, unicorn, this was the one that I used kind of the different colors. So for the body, I used R43 and then RV14 for my darker shade. I did find um, it wasn't giving as much of a contrast as I wanted after the fact. So when I did complete the entire body portion of the unicorn, I went over the whole thing um, just lightly on the insides, like towards the middle of the image with an RV10. So it is a much lighter color and it has a lot of colorless blender solution in it. So it does lighten what was already colored and it's um, more of a tutu baby pink, <laughs> if you want to call it. So that did change the color just slightly. So that was how I got the coloring to go on that one. I apologize for the original portion of this video. It was recorded at night and my lighting does not did not seem to be very well for that. So the colors do look a little off, but um, I can say that they do match nicely with the pattern paper that I used and um, in person they look really nice. <laughs> This was my first unicorn that I've colored in a while, so I wasn't sure at first what to do with the horn. Um, on the little mini ones, I did end up coloring the horn the same color as the body. It just seemed to look better that way. With this one, I did end up um, adding a little bit of shading after the fact with, um, with a light, light violet color, and then I used some stickles, glitter stickles over top. 
So for the mane and the tail of this unicorn, I'm using some purple colors. So I went in with the FV2 and the V09. Gave it a nice bright color. I was just thinking of My Little Pony colors as I was doing it, so this seemed to be a nice fit together with the purple and the darker pink. So that's pretty much it. Um, I was trying to do flick marks in the hair when I was doing this one. It has been a while that <laughs> I haven't done very many um, uh, hair characters, like characters with hair in a while with Copic markers. I've been using a lot of my Distress and then also my Inktense pencils. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit out of practice, but I still think it turned out really well. Um, once I was done with all of these images, the hair, like the mane and the tails of the unicorns were all covered with Wink of Stella. And um, on this one I colored the horn in with some stickles. Other than that, uh, I used some white gel pen on some of their eyes. And on the skunk I used the black gel pen purchased from the Not Too Shabby Shop um, to color in his eyes and his nose to make them shiny and a little bit 3D. So that is it for this video. Um, please comment, subscribe, thumbs up. <laughs> anything, um, any questions, just let me know. Uh, and again, please visit the Not Too Shabby Shop. Don't forget my coupon code, Sarah10 for 10% off your order. Thanks for watching. Bye.